Hi, how are you guys doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh. What the? <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I heard ya. So, I recently made a video, if, you're, if this is your first one, I made a video where I made a fan with holy, basically a holy fan blade and I compared it to one without one and I tested it just for fun, just for the lulls and to see what would happen and surprisingly, it did a little worse, not as bad as you would think. It was quieter, so that was a plus, but then so many people wanted to see a golf ball fan. So that's what we're gonna do today. Today's just a little bit of a follow-up video, so uh, we'll make it quick. We'll design a fan, we'll put some dimples in it. I don't know how to do that. Never, never had to put dimples in anything at work or just for playing around, so we gotta figure out how to put dimples in a fan blade. We'll print it out. And we'll test it versus one without dimples and see if golf ball dimples help out. Now, I mean, I don't, I'm not a golf ball scientist, but I do know, I do play golf. That's why I have a golf ball. I'm not good at it, but I do play. And I do know that golf balls with dimples tend to go about 50% farther than ones without. Also, uh, I'm sure there's uh, some sort of Googling research out there we can do to find out what the average depth and size of a dimple is. So we have something that's similar to what you actually see on a golf ball. I mean, you could measure it, but these are so common, they'd have to be out there. But, you know, let's find out. So back at the design table, here we are. Um, this is kind of how it works, you guys. Either somebody throws out a great idea, and I'm like, I have to try that, or the, the community's loud enough. So basically, everybody starts to say the same thing. In this case, it was golf balls. We wanted, we wanted golf ball dimples, and we wanted a fan blade. And so here I am to try to make it happen so it's kind of the, the the theme of this channel so if that's something you like get subscribed but it's 3d printing pcs just kind of wackadoo stuff but uh like i said i'm not not a golf ball genius so i'm going to have to do some googling to figure out sizes uh depths spacing looks pretty close together obviously uh, and then we got to put them on so putting them on a sphere modeling that that's quite simple you draw one and then you just you pattern it around an axis. If you do it on a fan blade that's curved, things get a little more complicated. We might have to, we might just do a, a flat straight blade. Ow, we'll, we'll see, but let's first, let's get in here and see what's going on. And I know a lot of you guys asked me for this model. You want to just the hub, you guys are like, hey, we'll make some models and send it to you, which could be cool. Uh, so let's just look at this dimensions because you don't really need this. It's just a simple model. It's 16 and a half millimeters tall. It's got an outside diameter of 41.3 and an inside diameter of 37.3. So you could make this on whatever 3D modeling software you have. You could drop a wacky, goofy fan design and uh, tweet it at me uh, at Twitter. And I guess if we get a whole bunch of people doing it and I get a bunch of uh, designs, I could probably pick a few good ones and we could just do like a, I could print them out and have like a little subscriber show off to who makes the best and goofiest fan. But yeah, you guys wanted this, this hub. so. Once again, 41.3 outside diameter, 37.3 inside diameter, and the total height of this hub is 16.5. And just in case you're curious, this inside ring to, to, to land it is 31.3. And that top wall thickness should be two millimeters. Nope, 1.5. So there you go. Model that up for yourselves and tweet me them fans. Uh, golf balls normally have three to 500 nipples. Doesn't really matter for us. We're not making a golf ball with depths of 0 0.01 inches, which in real measurement is, I hate the Imperial system a lot, but what are you gonna do? The average golf ball depth is about 0 0.1 inches, which in real, real talk is 0.254 millimeters. All right, so now we know the depth of 254 and the diameter of 3.9878. Since we're making dimples here, we'll try to keep it simple. And now we'll just do the standard lopped base. Don't need a guide curve because there's no curve. We're just making, we gotta watch for that though, the little green circles being goofy. So there you go, that's literally the crudest blade you can possibly make. All right, so now, so now we are going, we're going to try to pattern a dimple. So we want a diameter of three. So let's say we want a diameter of 3.9878, obviously that's a radius to divide by two. 1.99 is gonna get you there. And we also need this to be tangent. So if I draw a 
construction line out like that and make it parallel to this one and then tell these two guys to be tangent. Boom, we're gonna have some goof troop deal, but we can straighten it out, don't worry. There we go. Get her closer to the top. And we know our depth is 0.254. So this is our depth, 0.254. That should be a dimple. Let's say we want it to start from the edge. Get, I want the point. Come on, there you go. Oh, one millimeter. So this is essentially going to be one dimple. I don't think I have a line here, so let me just convert that. We can easily just trim this non-essential stuff away. And okay. So now we should be able to resolve this around that line and boom. Now obviously it's not a full circle. <laughs> Oops, I didn't wanna, I wanted to cut that. All right, so that is essentially half a dimple. Now, this should be as easy as making a linear pattern down this way. Oh, it's gonna wanna do half a dimps. We want a whole dimp. Now we got a dimple. So back to where we were, linear pattern, this direction, say they're almost, so if we put them about five millimeters apart, they're going to have like a millimeter in between. So there we got the start of some sort of dimple situation. So let's measure that. Yeah, that's, that's all right. So now looking at just said golf ball, it looks like we want, we could just, you know, do a linear pattern down, which would be fine, but essentially these golf balls are the dimples kind of stack on each other. So we're going to need to, so what we'll do is actually, instead of just going linear pattern down, we'll, we'll stagger another layer of dimples here and then we'll pattern it. So that way it's kind of more, it looks similar to this as the dimples kind of almost touch each other. So what we'll do is we'll make another plane. We're just, we're making tons of planes today. So that one, we'll make a plane that's essentially two mils offset. So then it should fall right between these dimples, which it doesn't, so, oh yeah, it's, they're five millimeters apart, so 2.5, there we go, there's the middle. And then we'll, we'll hide this one, so we don't have to look at stuff that we're not using, and then we'll do the same deal, we'll draw some more dimples. There you go. So now we can do the same deal with this dimple, so I'll highlight that dimple, new linear pattern, top the, the cross the top, flip the direction, hit it again, and we're we're looking like a golf ball. Now it's the easy part. Now we just take both of these patterns and we do another linear pattern and we go this direction. <laughs> no, not that way. And now we, we have a golf ball blade, at least on the top. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, golf balls have dimples all the way around. The blade should have dimples all the way around. So you know what I say to that? I say new plane. And the easiest way to do this would be to highlight both of these surfaces. So the top and the bottom reference geometry. It's going to make a mid plane right there dead center, which makes doing this super easy. We're going to mirror uh, across this plane and we're going to literally select this pattern, this pattern, and this pattern. And that should draw some dimples right there on the other side, just like so. And there we go. Dual dimple blades. Oh, how many blades are we feeling today? Five. Five. I know that people were talking, you know, on the, that Air screw video. A lot of people were talking five blades, so we'll, we'll do five. That sounds like that sounds like a good thing to try. Five blades. There you go. Now we have a nice rounded tip on our pretty standard looking fan blade. I mean, there, it's pretty simple except for the golf ball thing. So, like uh, last time, we will save this one, and then we'll take the dimples out, and we'll save an exact copy. We'll print them on the same printer this time. I know a lot of you guys thought there maybe there was a difference between the TiVo and stuff. We'll do them all on the Q5 this time around, so there's no difference. So, let me say one with dimples, one without dimples. We'll print them both out, and I'll be back with you.
Here's our fan blades. And they actually, I mean, you've seen my prints before. These ones came out pretty good. I'm actually quite impressed at how well this little Delta was able to replicate those dimples. I mean, if you put them side by side with a golf ball, they'd look pretty similar. We know that they're the right size based on what well, Google told us, but I mean, everything came out pretty clean. And this PLA is quite cool too. It's like a turquoise blue. But now, so now that we have our two fans, they came off the same printer. Um, just because I'm curious, I wonder what they weigh. Now, um, I can kind of cheat here because I've seen the slicer program and I know that this fan has more um, gap fill extrusion than this one. So I would think this one weighs less, but we all remember what happened last time when we assumed it didn't really work out. So let's throw them on the old scale. And I did check the scale. The scale does weigh uh, less. It can weigh items that are less than 10 grams. So uh, let's see, let's see what it does. First up, we got our regular fan, just straight blades. And we're looking at 11.7 grams. Now for the dimpled, the dimpled blades, they measure in at 10.8, 10.7, I guess. Just as suspected, this one does actually weigh less, but uh, not much. So now to test RPM, I guess we'll use the same motor hub. So I'll just take the fans off and on the same motor since there's one already installed on the radiator. We'll just spin them up, see if they're any different because I don't know, the idea behind the golf ball design is it causes less drag and maybe cleaner airflow. Who knows, we're, we're gonna see here. Less drag should equal higher speeds. And if we want it to keep as consistent as possible, we'll use the same motor so we don't have any uh, differences in maybe just the manufacturing of the motor itself. So let's check the speeds of these guys. So we'll start with dimples. They're a little lighter. Maybe have less wind resistance, maybe spins faster. Let's see what they measure in at. 18, 1880, so they're smooth blades. Smooth blades are looking at 0. about 1880 as well. No difference. Same RPM. Who, did you see that coming? I don't know. Kinda, uh, I mean, they are the same profile, but it's not looking like the old golf ball dimples are doing much for us. Uh, so I guess the last thing to do is throw them on the test bench and see if they help cool anything. And I'll be back with you after that round of testing. We're back, numbers on the board here. So I also have the fan from last time, same setup as last deal, uh, half of a 240, everything's right on that. Stock fan, dimple fan, smooth fan, and the smooth and dimple, we use the same motor and housing. So no change there, same RPMs as we've seen earlier. And well, again, no difference. The dimples and the smooth perform almost exactly, literally exactly the same. I think there's like 0.1 degrees delta, and that is far within the uh, margin of error for sure. So there, there's literally no, no benefit to the dimples. I guess they weigh less. So you, technically, I use less material to make them. So I guess that's a benefit. Didn't use as much that sweet. Uh, silk PLA. Uh, Noise-wise, I did listen to them while I was running it. I didn't notice a difference. They sound exactly the same to me. Uh, I'll let you guys listen right now. You let me know if you see, hear anything different pitch-wise or volume-wise. Not everybody's ears are the same. So to me, they sound the same. So in a nutshell, do dimples do anything to fan blades? They help golf balls fly farther, but for fans, they do nothing. No sound difference, no rotational difference, no cooling difference. The only difference is you don't have to use as much material and they kind of look cooler, if I do say so myself. And cool, that means something. But thanks for, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any more ideas, like this, this whole idea to make this came right from you guys. A lot of you guys want to see it. That's why we're here. That's what I aim to do is Please, you guys, and if you have anything else you want to see, it's either going to be a cool idea that I'm going to try, or if enough of you guys want to see it, I'll do it. Until next time.